welcome back to Parts Department. If you're watching this video, it's because you've either just received one of these two machines, the one and a half horsepower or three quarter, or a small three quarter horsepower pump over here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set the pressure on the gauge, connect your bucket, and how to service the pump by adding oil and draining oil out of the filter when it's necessary. So when you receive the pump, you'll notice there's a white sticker on here. That basically says to change the position of this yellow lever from the closed position to the open position. This is done because during shipping, if this tips over, you don't want the liquid inside this gauge to run out. So the position of this lever will stay open under normal circumstances all the time. The only time you would ever turn it back to closed is if you were removing the gauge to clean this tank. So leave this in the open position. Now when you turn the vacuum pump on, it's preset at 14 inches of vacuum. So the gauge will come up to 14 inches. If that needs to be changed, for example, if you're milking goats and want to change it down to say 12 or even 11, that's done here. You simply re loosen this silver nut and then you're able to turn this brass collar by hand, which will if you tighten it, will raise the pressure, and if you loosen it, will lower the pressure on the gauge. Now, it's important to do this when you're setting this pressure with these stallcocks closed. They're in the closed position when they're up like this. Obviously, there'll be no air going into them when they're closed. So these need to be closed, and then you can set this pressure. If you try to set the pressure with these in the open position, it simply won't be able to be done. Okay, let's move on to the oil tank. So in the front of the machine is the vacuum pump itself. It's the big gray pump on the front. This needs oil to run. So we fill it halfway with either 1030 or 1040 motor oil. We do not use synthetic oil as the synthetic oil is unable to be captured by the oil catching muffler. So just use regular low grade engine oil 1030 1040 is what you want to put in here you put it in by removing this rubber cap and then simply pour it in there and fill up until this sight gauge here is halfway so you want it to be filled up to the halfway point then just replace the plug and you're good to go this does not need to be maintained at half level it simply needs to be refilled up to the half level. So allow the oil to run out completely and then just simply fill it up back up halfway again. And again, then run it out until you need to put oil again. Uh, regular use on this machine, if you use it every single day, you're gonna probably need to fill this tank once every month or two. Now it's a good idea when you do fill this tank to drain any oil that's been collected in this black muffler here. You'll see underneath here, there's a, a drain which can be rotated and when you do rotate it, the oil will then drain out of here. Once it's empty, you just tighten it back up again. So to drain the oil, you need to screw this up into the body of the muffler and then when, when you wanna close it, you, you screw it so that this brass piece comes down out of the muffler. Obviously there's a hole in the end here for the oil to get out. So if you can feel air coming out of here, then it's not closed, it's open. Okay, let's move on to our other machine. Okay, on the smaller machine that we sell, this is the 42000 pump. Again, it's a three quarter horsepower pump. It's just a different design and it's quite small and compact. So we had that designed for us by the pump company. It's proprietary to parts department, so this is only available through us. When you get the machine, you're gonna have a little box of spare parts and some instructions. The spare parts in here are gonna be assembled onto the machine like this. There's an arrow on the casing right here showing an arrow for the air going into the pump. And that's where you're going to put this uh, gauge assembly. Simply install it in there. There's no tape needed or no um, sealant needed, you simply screw it in until it seems to be the appropriate tightness where it's not wiggling around. The gauge comes in this box. Again, this gauge has this yellow lever on the top, so you'll remove this sticker and turn this gauge over to the open position. Then you simply install it in the top here, and that's the, 
that's the gauge assembly installed. Where the casing has an arrow going out, this is the exhaust. The exhaust is this little black plastic piece that comes with it. You simply screw it into here, and that's it. That's the assembly of the machine completed. It's now ready to run. This, the adjustment of the gauge is done exactly as it is on the bigger machine. You close this petcock, and then you're able to adjust it using this brass collar, using this brass collar on the regulator.